But now you're on RT1, Callum makes peace with Chris, but he's not so lucky with Justine in Shortland Street. Are we still on for this afternoon? And what have you guys got planned? Uh, we're just going to set the church up for a youth group session. So what about this faith healing people business? Are you still into that? I believe that I'm doing what God wants me to, as a nurse. So no praying with patients? That's what I'm talking about. When you hold my hands and pray for me, I feel something back, something real. Yeah, I bet you do. And I bet I know exactly what it is that you're feeling. I got the wrong idea? Does one of you want to tell me what the right idea is? I'll call you later, Bex, to see if we're on for tomorrow or not. No, you're not on for tomorrow, so sort off. Yeah, that's enough. Thank you very much for totally humiliating me. You are lucky that that is all I did. She is here throwing herself at you right in front of me. No, she wasn't. What do you think I am? I think that you're blind if you can't see that she's got the hot Claire, shoes. stop. You know that it's not like that. Well, I don't know anything anymore, so how about you tell me? Hey, nice penny. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, ignore that. I forgot I should still be in grease mode. What I meant to say was, hi, Dad, how's it going? <laughs> All the greasing in the world is not going to get you that car, my son. Your mother has put her foot down. Since when have you let her boss you around? There is only so much aggro a man can take. She is really against the idea. Sorry. Tart. Hey, do not speak about your mother like that. Well, Sophie gets whatever she wants. In this case, she gets highlights, eyebrow waxing, moisturiser, and I get denied something that I need badly. Something practical, a way of getting round, for God's sake. You don't have to tell me, mate. Well, if we're going to live in the middle of nowhere, I should at least be supplied with transport. Well, your mum did say something about using the bus. <laughs> have you ever ridden the bus, mum? No, because the smell of public school kids would make you want to vomit. Right. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised I'd drive Sophie to her friend's house. He told you it was all my decision, did he? Forget it, Mum. Please stay in bed. Please stay in bed. Please stay in bed. <laughs> he will. Oh, I just don't want to be taking him back every five minutes. Not tonight. I want to spend some time with my wife. Oh, looks like it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I haven't even asked you how your week's been, if uh, things are improving at work. Eh, uh, pass. Still having issues with Brenda? Nothing I can't handle. I might be about to make your life easier. Make Brenda a permanent scrub nurse. Really? Yeah, I want to create two dedicated theatre teams. One for me, one for Justine. How come? Well, if you've got a team working together on a regular basis, it creates familiarity and therefore efficiency. Well, effectively, it means you and Justine will be running two separate services. Big trial in other hospitals. Seems to work well. Imagine Justine will be happy with more autonomy. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. And hey, if it takes Brenda out of my orbit, I'm all for it. It's like a community outreach program. People who can't get to church, so we take church to them. Why, and you don't try to cure them of all their ailments? It's a bunch of old folk who enjoy the company. That's pretty much what it boils down to. So why don't you just tell me? Well, when did I have the chance? It's not like you've been talking to me much lately. Well, now I feel stupid, all that stuff I said to Simone. Well, oh, it's kind of cute, though. You're getting all jealous. <laughs> you have to tell her that I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, of course, we're... Supposed to be visiting Ferndale West Village tomorrow, so I'll let her know then. Or I could. I could come with you guys. Oh, no, you don't want to do that. Yes, I do. Well, it's just that the oldies, they might get a little bit freaked out if a whole bunch of us roll up there. They won't. They'll think more the merrier, I bet you. Come on, it'll make up for me being such a psycho before. <laughs> Why not? Go! <laughs> Morning, fabulous parents. Somebody got out of bed on the right side. Ready for your big day? More than. Big day? What's happening? 
you are looking at your plain ugly daughter for the last time. Hours from now, I will be a new person. Hold on. Firstly, I don't have a plain ugly daughter. And secondly, what are you talking about? My makeover. What exactly does this makeover include? Hair, clothes, Botox. What? Just kidding. No Botox, just a regular facial and I'm getting my eyebrows and eyelashes done. I don't think so, Sophie. You look great the way you are, and your dad's just bought you new clothes this week. Hello, hair, drab as, clothes, one new outfit just won't cut it, and the rest are so 2006. Besides, Dad already said yes. What are you thinking? Every teenage girl needs a wardrobe overhaul every now and then. You're not going to deny that, are you? Oops, forgot my phone. We're not made of money, Callum, you know that. We're meant to be working on our debts, not splashing it around. We are doing all right. Trying to buy their affections? Truly sad and pathetic. I like to make my kids happy. Sue me. This is not about making them happy, it's about punishing me. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself. You're not stupid, you know. Sooner or later they'll see right through you. The makeover is not happening. Not happening! Fine, then you tell her and deal with the tears and the disappointment. No way, this is your mess. You clean it up. Bye. Thanks, Dad. What for? Being so kind, loving and generous. <laughs> Credit card? How are you today? Morning, guys. Hey, uh, I've brought another friend with me today. This is Claire. Claire, this is everybody. Hello, Hi, Claire. Claire. Hiya. Hey, Mrs. Johnson. Have you become a great grandmother yet? Ah, <laughs> oh, cute. Excuse my thickness, but is uh, this a boy or a girl? Boy. Oh. Please don't tell me you made those yourself. <laughs> well, I was up all night anyway. Not feeling too good. Mm, baking is a handy distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, eh? He's good with those guys, eh? He's good with most people. Look, I'm so sorry about last night. You've already apologised once. I know, but to get it so wrong, you should have more faith in Baxter. He's a good soul. And how about you, Mr Story? Did you see the cricket yesterday? I sure did. Oh, yep. what a captain's knock, eh? <laughs> Any problems with the bureau who's covering for Tanya? No, she's fitting in fine. Everything's running smoothly. Excellent. We can return the night shifts to full staff. Oh, I already did that last night. I didn't want Baxter doing CPR on his own again. No. Hi, Justine. All your notes are bedside and waiting for you. Wow, efficient. <laughs> Anything we can do to make things easier. Hear that? A nurse after my own heart. <laughs> uh, Justine, can I grab you for a chat after rounds? About some staff issues. I'm kind of flat out. Lunchtime then? I'll show you at the IV. Sure. See you there about one? I'll look forward to it. <laughs> 